News First News Line with Faraz Shaukatali. And a wonderful morning to you. This is News Line. Live as always from the News First studios in Dawson Street in Colombo. And in the studio, our two today, is my colleague, that wonderful um, journalist, diplomat, and host of Pathika Day, Mr. Bandla Jai Sekhra. Very good morning. Good morning, Bandla. Not often that people call you Mr., is it? Yeah, no. They are not interested in this Mr. You don't like titles anyway. Honorables and all that. That is Bandla. This is a sort of. I've had lots of offers. Friends who phoned up and said, oh, you know, if you're feeling a bit unsafe, uh, you can come and stay with us, you can stay here. All sorts of wonderful offers. But it troubles me that I'm getting these offers because I'm sort of being treated specially. Well, why is that? No, and is that, that something to do with my sort of background? No, Have you had offers from your friends saying, Bandula, if you're feeling unsafe, if you're in Candy or wherever? No, with this, for us, I think everybody feels unsafe. These are extremist mm. elements right, in all communities. But yeah. they, and I'm it's sorry to say, monks in robes, yeah. they cannot do this. You know, you're supposed to preach ahimsa. Mm. So you cannot do this. So everybody feels, right thinking people feel unsafe. We don't need this. We have suffered enough. They've gone oh, yes. through enough. We don't need this. But we don't see, need to become a para state. You know what? You, you're absolutely right. We we don't need this. And back in '83, we didn't need that either. And back in '56 and so on, we didn't need it either. What I think what uh, Sri Lanka realizes now is that <clears throat> where there is a lack of leadership, where there is a lacuna in leadership, that's when this departure from process, I keep going on about it, it's not only to do with tenders and procurements and so on, but a departure from established process. There is a process. If <coughs> Mr. X is supposed to be the next army commander, then so be it, because these are tried and tested systems. That, that's just an example. Uh, the IGP and so on, they're all the same. And it's highly necessary for these people to be given their independence so that they can act impartially and in the interest of Sri Lanka. Not because somebody has given somebody uh, yeoman service for six years and he's from the same area and therefore he must jump the queue and so on. Because those, uh, those sort of actions uh, grows the seed of frustration and compromise because they will then permit themselves when their when their natural progression is uh, sort of stymied they will let themselves be compromised and that's bad news because those such compromise situations then lead to all sorts of uh, activities that we as you say we don't need it and also for us there is, should be one command in chief the head of state the yes. president you can't have statements from three four people yeah that's the when i'm very i'm glad that uh, within hours the president came he addressed the nation absolutely then he went to candy yeah i mean he that was good that's i mean and then he was with the people with all religious leaders that's the way but you can't uh, the message cannot be diluted and it can't be diluted because the consequences of a, of a lack of leadership of decisive, incisive action will lead to what we've, all of us, suffered for over 30 years. And sometimes, far as I don't know if you agree, but I wonder, we had General Fonseca, now Field Marshal, he contested the presidency. If he won, he would have been the Commander-in-Chief. There's so much talk, the Law and Order Ministry, I'm going to hold this for two weeks. No. Yeah. I wonder why can't we have him as the Minister of Law and Order? Because yesterday, day for when I spoke to so many people, they said, yes, it's good to have him. Even well, members of the board <coughs> said, they said, it's good to have him. Why not? Well, I'm not sure well, that I, I, I see, I hear the argument for, but we must also examine the argument against. And that is... Yeah, that but my point is, Farasi contested the presidency. That's so true. if he had won, he would have been the commander-in-chief. And yeah. why? This is a menace. But the argument uh, against that is that that's why he did, that the argument could be that that's why he didn't. 
win. Yeah. We don't know. There's others who say that the, the, the polls are fixed. But we need a tough end. We cannot let these things happen. No, certain matters we must... You're absolutely right, man. Certain People matters... People have to be decisive. They have to be take decisive. Decisions. They take, must take incisive uh, decisions. And they must, in all matters, act absolutely with equity. No, none of these inequitable situations. It's got to be equity. And like you said at the beginning, right man for the right job. Correct. If, uh, we'll say, if uh, somebody crosses the line, the, the person has the authority and Indeed. the right to remove, transfer, they can exercise those rights. Indeed. Now, <coughs> the questions have started already, the SMSs. The first one, who is benefiting this situation in the country today? Actually, it is who is benefiting this beep situation in the country today? As people forgot, have people for, forgot bond gate, election results, leadership challenges, and so on? Well, that's true, but that's the nature of the news, isn't it? But we got to have peace in the country, peace of mind. Yes. Not to have any fear to move about freely. That's yes. important. Everything comes after, after and, that. And we and need peace of mind to understand all the fraud and the corruption and so on that's going and on. And the economy suffers after that. Absolutely. The tourism. Look at the travel advisors. We cannot have this. And, 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 and our hill country capital is such a integral part of any tourist calendar. Where Living is it here? Everyone I know will go because it's, if you're in Colombo, you can actually go and come back in a day. And on the way, there's all this, you know, the pin novella and all this business, you know. Third state station of Kabir Hashim. Well, yes, that one. Now, these, these have become these institutions. Are, yeah, yeah, these, are nice. these have become institutions. And, and these are, these kind of things is Sri Lanka. That is what it is. But... And, and also for us, this, the schools have closed. You know, we, we have, our children have suffered. I'm not talking of the big matches. No. Matches have been postponed. These yeah. are things which children wait for. Right. We need entertainment. We need sports. We need this. <coughs> I think it's important that these things, like like the, the big matches coming along soon, the Royal Tomin, it's the world's continue, most continuously played cricket match ever. And, you know, two world wars, one terrorist leader um, these were not it, this didn't compromise the big match but it's a sign of the times that they were able to move the dates to reflect a film role that's going to yeah that's one and then the, the candy the <coughs> Trinity and Anthony they have postponed exactly. because of this yes. so, so these are things where we'll bring people together indeed we don't need issues you know things where you divide people that's right. And, and also, Wanda, you know, um, uh, somebody, uh, a journalist from overseas, when I told them about the, uh, the casualty figures in the current situation, he said, oh, that wasn't much. Uh, I said, yeah, the, the situation isn't as bad as you guys portray. Don't, don't be coming here. Right? But also, Wanda, it's very important for us to... Uh, <coughs> We need to understand the modus operandi of this thing. Uh, I have a guy who's within that town, right? Digana. Digana. He's from the majority and so on. And again, I didn't even think of no, it. But, but for us, I, I, hate, you know, I hate this thing to say majority minority. We have to have the Sri Lankan identity. I remember. That's right. I mean, Mr. Lakshman Kadragama saying at yeah. a conference, I mean, don't say this, yeah. I'm, I'm a Sri Lankan. <coughs> yeah. So, so that's what is important. It is. Um, <coughs> but, you know, Bradley, if you look at it, these mobs, they have been imported. They have been clearly imported. That is what this fellow, this uh, chap from Diggin was telling yes. me. He said, this is not people from our village hitting each other. Hey, Dr. Amnugama mentioned that yesterday. Yeah, that people have come from outside. So these are what we could call uh, uh, subversive elements. And also I was told by some of the security authorities last night, okay, there could, I mean, you have, I'm sad to say, but you have these people who want to loot. That's the right. The Taisho guys, they, they right. all, they, they want to loot. But, you know, they, there's, there's absolutely no justification. If you remember, the, the riots, in the summer riots in London some time back, it was all to do with looting. 
And the mobs came there and they were looting all these high-end shops and so on. And uh, to be fair to those British authorities, they jailed a whole lot of people. Very, very fast action. The courts were virtually inundated. That's the way we That's should work. We should be very tough and hard on them and Because there can be off. no delay, laws delays. And you know, these mobs, these were... They, they, they loot. They, these businesses are hard... Uh, you know, they were not just set up with uh, bond gate money. They, these are hard-working entrepreneurs who are putting something into the economy. You know, getting a little bit of capital, they've opened their shops and it's full of all sorts of uh, uh, items and so on. And these mobs, they're after the looting. That's what this is. I remember in 83 how I worked with, you must be knowing, Maxi Rosairo, yes. the singer, and how he said, he's a Sri Lankan burger, how his, when the bed was carried, the shoes was taken. This is what they did. So, I mean, this is, I mean, this, but my point is for us, this got to stop. People should unite, the so-called the leaders should unite. These are but issues of need, national importance. Right. They and cannot play politics. They should unite because this is our country. And we, we need decisive, incisive leadership. Because without that, you know, I'm glad you mentioned 83. But if you remember in 83, they didn't take a decision for two days. I right? think more than two days. Well, uh, the way I remember, it was two, two days. There was this emergency, but there was no curfew. And it was absolutely disastrous when they decided to uh, have those, the funerals of those very unfortunate 13 uh, army uh, personnel. They, they had all the funeral in the one place uh, where the option would have been, as I think Sisi Korea and so on wanted to do at the time, was to disperse, to send the bodies to their respective villages, villages so that there would be no uh, focus point or and focus point. Java, then he kept quiet. And he kept quiet. He, he twiddled. I don't know what, he was, what, what happened. But, you know, we, if you look at 83, and I saw the footage the other day of uh, our head office burning uh, at the time, and that, that saddened me, and I also realized that these, it is not always that you'd get entrepreneurs who are able to get up, dust, the, the take all the mud off your shirt and roll your sleeves up and get down to work again and recreate what you had. Those are rare occurrences. And yeah, it's not easy. And it's not easy. And we are today here because of that grit and so on that our uh, chairman and his brother were able to do at that time. But not everybody was able to do that. Not everyone was made out of that metal. And today, thank God, and thanks to them, the group is back bigger and better than it ever was. But what about, what if, what if they were unable to do that? Six factories were burnt, raised to the ground. Uh, you know, um, so all those opportunities, that's what I'm trying to say. Now these, these, these entrepreneurs who, who finds their shops looted, burnt. For us, we went back 30 years after 83. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry to say we became a part of our state. The whole thing changed. Our passport had no value and we really went back. That's and right. This country paid the price for that and we don't need that again, ever again. Uh, one one um, listener says that he wants to appreciate uh, you, your statement uh, by correcting me. Uh, and, you know, when I said, uh, when I spoke of minorities and majorities, and the person says, well done for saying that we are actually one nation. No, we actually, are. that is, we are one nation. No, I think this Sri Lankan, I didn't take Singaporeans. I mean, I'll tell you my experience, my, when uh, my first visit, when I saw this huge Sikh, I was so proud, you know, guy said, you are a Sikh. He said, no, I'm not a Sikh, I'm a Singaporean. We should have that Sri Lankan identity. We have to. We have five communities, but we are all Sri Lankans. Yeah. However much take India, you have different states. Right? It's like so many countries put together. They come out and say, we are Indians. So we should have this. And we sh I mean, I like to say, okay, single is Sri Lankan. You can say Tamil Sri Lankan, Muslim, but Sri Lankan. That's what is important. And Indeed. then I must, with all respect to Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, yeah. 
I was at this event where they showed uh, President Kumar Tunga hosted this event where three movies were shown on reconciliation where he reminded the audience which even we have forgotten the national anthem which says we are children of one mother our national anthem people forget that he pointed that out I think that's important absolutely and after this short break we'll discuss a few more of the messages that we are getting from our viewers do join us and welcome back to Newsline where I'm joined this morning by Bandula Jai Sekra uh, there's um, a lot of uh, a lot of messages coming through. Uh, we've got a um, um, regular view from Candy who says that the current situation is yet another instance of the failed divisions of responsibility shared by President and Prime Minister. Another one says uh, uh, no development is possible without law and order. Definitely. And another one says uh, Bandula is absolutely right. Uh, we can't be waiting for perfection. Uh, and with the right person should be appointed to the job of law and order uh, minister straight away and waste no time. But, you know, talk about mobs. These mobs are not the exclusive preserve of any one community uh, or group. There can be, there could be Muslim mobs. No, they're mobs. Good, they, yeah, all together because they Muslim. want to steal. They, that's they want to steal. That's, that's their that's their game. They always take the use of this opportunity. We, we need to talk about, we need to appreciate that we are we are Sri Lanka you know there's there's not there's no two words about it just we can be from Badulla, Batiklo, Ampare I don't know Meetat um, Mulla Vanas Mulla yeah, this 22 million if we cannot be together then there's some problem yes we cannot you know and also I mean it's it's not worth having seminars in five-star hotels yeah to reach out to the masses and I that's why programs such as are important you know programs such as God Madda, it brings the uh, when I went there I said that I, I said that I normally speak of bonds uh, but financial ones but today at God Madda, these are the bonds of friendship the bonds of togetherness that's very important because it brings that whole village together. And you remember for us when we were in Kalavanchikud in Batiklo, those we, we did this program yes, like in the, in the paddy Central field. The paddy field and yeah. they said they haven't had after DS and Anaka politicians haven't visited. They said That's that right. there was no water. Right. See the problems are the same. Deep north and deep south are the same. That's right. Because there are barren still land, it's the same. There are still people in the south uh, who were affected by the tsunami who are still very much uh, homeless. And also I think people should come down from their ivory towers and reach out. I think that understand the pulse of the masses, that's important. Indeed. And there's another view who's I think agreeing uh, when they say that uh, in uh, a lack of leadership in 83, um, saddle this country with uh, uh, events that has uh, you know, we've gone on for over 30 years. And you can't expect some people, let's be frank about it, we can't, you know, it's, it hurts. If it happened to you, it'll hurt for the rest of your life. Absolutely. And then, you know, reconciliation is, is a process. You, you can't suddenly announce tomorrow morning, oh, well, yeah, you know, we're re reconciled. That, that's, that's simply not, not possible. You should do more. I remember, I mean, with all respect, people say, uh, Canadian Prime Minister Harper and Australian Prime Minister Rudd at that yeah. time they apologized to their First Nations, yeah. uh, the Aborigines, but uh, with respect to Chandrika, I think 94, she did apologize, but like you said, you should do more than that. Of course, I mean, these people, if the apology is, is, is fine and so on and necessary, but also they must be compensated. They, they need to get on with their life. There are still people out there in the former conflict areas and in, and those people in uh, in the Putlam area who were overnight shifted away by the uh, by the NTT. Now these people need to be compensated so that they can get on with their lives. They can't be forever and a day wallowing in that misery that has been inflicted. And on them. also, like uh, for us, the leaders should lead by example. I mean, that's what is important to that's reach true. out as much as possible. 
There's something, there's lots of economic issues. Indeed. With, I mean, I think take the LTT and this is the only time I agree with uh, the Anjatinaka. Right. <laughs> where LTT and JVP said, you know, same set, two coins, you know, same yeah. coin, same set. Because you had deep south, a lot of people unemployed. Same thing in north. So you have to address these issues. Indeed, indeed. Um, but the one, the one thing we must bear in mind is that when, if we allow ourselves to descend back to where we were 30 plus years ago, that situation is not going to benefit one particular group. It's going to be to the detriment of our whole country. You know, just imagine when we look at the size of all our, all our corporates in our country today, you to understand that this is in spite and despite the 30 plus year war, right? Imagine, Bandula, what it could have been had it not been for that. You know, imagine what it did to our economy. Most of these people wouldn't have left the country. That's right. People would have stayed back. We would have been really doing fine. We went back and we cannot afford to do that anymore. And also, we are, a, we are not even a country. We are an island. We can't afford to have enemies. We have to reach out to everybody, be friends with everybody. We cannot. When, when, uh, when we go to do Face the Nation, I go to, to Stein Studios, I, I always remember that that wasn't Stein Studios. That was a factory. If I'm not mistaken, it was the Eslon and the Cheeseboro Ponds factory. And those were the memories that we had uh, at the time. And it's absolutely remarkable that uh, uh, the owners of this group, uh, the two brothers, decided they took a decision. I don't think that the fires were out when they took that decision to rebuild. And boy, didn't they rebuild. That was the courage to be different. That, absolutely right, courage to be different. But we need the courage to be different to tell the world that, look, in Sri Lanka, we know how to handle the problems. And, um, and we do. And subversive elements in the midst of our society uh, have no place in our society. And uh, I'd be all for one for shoving them all in the darkest corner of the worst jail going and chucking the key away. Uh, because I'm, I'm with you. I'm you know, what, why should we feed them and look after them when they when they engage in loot? We, these these mobsters are engaged in looting. That that's that's basically the bottom line, you know. But again, then Bandula, you know, one wonders: is this because of the economy? Are people but so desperate? See, nobody has the right to take any, somebody else's yes. life. Yes, nobody has the right to destroy somebody's property. I mean, yeah. with uh, respect when. I had uh, Vidura Vikramana, I can yeah. Vidura Vikramana on my program, which we showed it today. And he said, when he spoke to a lawyer yeah. in Darga town, he was very apologetic about what happened in Darga town during uh, their, the previous government. And he, he said, that lawyer told him, I'm scared. He said, why? You cannot, nobody should live in fear. Yeah. So that this is what is important. We can't, everybody should be able to get about their daily lives yes. freely without any fear. You can't live like that. Indeed. Um, not everybody is happy with uh, uh, the way we report, and somebody's saying that. Well, you know, you've got uh, all the... We, that's, that's what being a journalist is. Happiness is a state of mind. Well, happiness is a state of mind. But, uh, Bandula, how are your friends? I know you, uh, you have connections in the hill country. How are your friends doing? Well, I would say, I mean, they're very disheartened. They're sad. Hmm. I mean, I mean it's, it's very difficult to explain how they feel. Indeed. I mean, nobody wants this, you know. I mean, candy, the way, like you said, at the beginning, the way we looked at candy, yeah. so much of peace, what happens? Indeed. Nobody wants this. So, but having said that, we should stand up against this. We cannot hide, we can't run, yeah. we should stand up in unison. And we should stand up for being, for doing the right thing. And also yesterday, I, again I mentioned this, uh, Azam Amin has yeah. uh, tweeted uh, the BBC correspondent. He has said how the priest of Niligala 
uh, Buddhist priests and some uh, Sri Lankan Sinhalese youth yeah. went to the mosque and stayed overnight to protect the mosque. I think the Nelligala priest in Murutalava. He has come. So this is the spirit of Sri Lanka. Absolutely. What a wonderful story that is. You know, that, that, that's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, you should follow that Twitter thread. You know, it's amazing. We have to do that. Indeed. Um, uh, some, well, another viewer is asking why these people who are openly inciting uh, and promoting violence, why they're not arrested and incarcerated for these, what he call, or he or she calls, hate crimes. No, they, they should be, because I think uh, the President finance minister said, Mangala Samarvir also said, you know, I mean, to, that you should take very tough action. So an action, I think yeah. we are with you, but then yeah. that has, the message has to go to the people. Yeah. And also, let's not forget, it's not those mobs, all this, you know, like you said, maybe in Kalam, you know, we don't know. So these people have to open up and say, look, we take a stand. That's right. This is our stand. That's important. It's important. And, and uh, uh, several viewers have uh, uh, sent in, this must be your fan club, but uh, seriously, they all agree with uh, your statement. And one says here, fully endorsed under the statement, we are people of one nation. We must think, breathe and live Sri Lanka. That's what is... And, and also, I mean, for us, I mean, to have it taken on time, now what Professor Rajiv Vijay Singh said uh, yesterday, what he pointed out was, let's stop with this singular schools, Tamil school, Muslim schools. Yes. Let's have this education. He, said, he used a very interesting word that we work together and bring this the way you and I yes. study. That's what is important. Indeed. Indeed. I mean, um, w w what should we do today, Bangla? Uh, no, no, no. Even, at even lunch, what shall we have? No. Hmm? Biryani and Watlappa. Yeah. But, and so back, I mean, I'll tell you, I go to my one of my favorite places is Rahimas. Yeah. As the, the boys of Royal and Thurston, there is no shoot. They all go to Rahimas. Yeah. That's one place I patronize. You know, and more those boys are from Candy. Those people who work from Candy. There is no shoot. And also now take. I want to bring this out. Mm. Oh, this, we have this. I'm um, saying people like even the monks. I mean, I'm not. Good, I'm going to name names. Yeah. People like uh, Batra Mulesila Ratna. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we can support their behavior, the way they act. Mm -hmm. If you, like, same way Vidura Vikramanayaka, a politician, a son of a former prime minister mm -hmm. said, there are people in robes doing this. Mm -hmm. Don't insult Buddhi uh, Buddhism or Lord Buddha. Yes. It's a religion of Ahimsa. Yeah. That's what all religion says to do good. Yeah. We cannot afford to do that. And that's what we say people should stand up. You, I respect Buddhism, I respect all religions, but just because somebody wears a robe, I can't do I, I think people should stand up for being what we all are, Sri Lanka. That's the important thing, that we're standing up for what is right. And what is right is simply, um, I think it was Churchill who said that many great things can be described with one word. And in Sri Lanka, there's also true, Sri Lanka, that's a simple as that. And if we all think in those same lines and <laughs> we have no tolerance, zero tolerance for mobsters who are intent on looting, they're petty criminals and they are trying to disturb the peace and the authorities should deal with them swiftly, decisively, incisively and chuck them in that furthest post of Velikada prison or wherever it is and forget about the And for us, I'm definitely not going to Pali, so I'm going to Rahimas. Oh, I see. Well, you know, uh, let's do that. Let, let, let's have some uh, good, uh, good food. But I prefer the, uh, the southern cooking, actually. So, Bhagavad Gita, thank you very much for being on here. I'm sorry, there's so many messages, I can't possibly take them all. But thank you for your company and uh, take care. God bless. News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali.